Hey everybody, it's Charlie from DM Sound, and today we've got the sound system demo on the 2023 Chevy Colorado and its base six speaker sound system. This is going to be an in-depth review. We're going to take a look at how the infotainment system works, take a look at audio inputs, adjustments and controls, speaker locations. Then we're going to head out on the road and listen to these sample tracks while we're rolling, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Now, if you don't care any bit about any of that stuff at the beginning and you just want to hear the music, click ahead in the video. We've got chapters to get you right to the tunes. And if you want to see, see even more, man, I cannot speak today. If you want to see and hear even more on the Colorado system, check the link in the description for our members only sound test. We recorded a bunch of member requested tracks and they sound pretty darn decent. So if you want to support the channel and see more on the system, check the link below. Before we get started, let's hop out and take a look at it. We've been having a lot of fun here with the new Colorado. No horn, I guess, because we've already gotten out of it once. You can see how dirty we got it, taking it up some mountain roads, testing out the trail boss aspects of it. But also, it's just proven as a decent daily driver, even got better fuel economy on our tests than we expected. So if you do want to see more on the new Colorado, check the link in the description. We've got links to everything we shot below. Now, we always do these tests with lossless, uncompressed wave files, but today they're not on a USB stick plugged directly into the system because... The USB stick wasn't working for the system, and I had that happen in the Canyon as well with the Bose system. USB drive just not being picked up by this otherwise excellent Android Automotive system. So I actually playing them through my phone, but it still should be an uncompressed connection here. And we still got our high quality Roland binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. We also did a test with the sound settings set to their factory default, so let's take a look at those now. Coming up here, hitting the top right of the media screen, bring in audio settings, let's hit sound. We're greeted with adjustments for bass, mid-range, and treble. Let's go through those. decent range of adjustability there. Below that you have adjustments for front, rear, left, right, fader, and balance, and that is it. For audio inputs in the Colorado, you have your standard AM, FM, Sirius XM satellite radio, support for HD radio, Bluetooth, Android Auto, and Apple CarPlay, both wired and wireless, and then because this is an Android automotive system, you can install other applications via the Play Store. And lastly, USB-A and USB-C ports, despite them not working with my drive. What does that mean you're missing? I mean, outside of a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack, I really don't think you're missing anything. This system has just about everything you could want. So, uh, audio controls in the new Colorado. You have a volume knob, thank goodness for that. With so many brands abandoning knobs, I'm glad we still have it up there. It's not the easiest to grab position, but it works just fine. You also have volume controls on the back right of the steering wheel. For track selection, no physical controls in the center, so you'd have to be on the proper screen whether that be the home screen here or in the media menu, but you can at least do track on the left back of the steering wheel there. Speaker locations. As I said, this is a six speaker system. Starting in the bottom left, you've got a kind of a mid-ranger woofer there, one, tweeter up top, two, three, four on the other side. And then looking in the back door, you've got that kind of mid-ranger woofer-ish speaker there, five, six on the other side. All right, I'm gonna get this stuff put away so we can head out on the road.
despite this truck regularly thinking I'm about to crash into things, I'm decently impressed with this sound system. I really am. This whole technology suite is really well done in the Colorado. I, I, I got a little nervous when the sound system test for the GTI went up here recently and somebody pointed out I rated the bass system higher than I rated the Harman Kardon. And I was like, oh, snap. That's, uh, that's a bit awkward. But I really do think sometimes branded systems are overrated and they try too hard to make this special sound when really sometimes simple is better. And yeah, this isn't a complicated system and it's not gonna rattle your teeth out and it's not gonna amaze you with surround elements or anything like that. But just turning on some radio and listening to the music, it sounds pretty good. I, I'm getting a fairly satisfying high, mid, and low combo between the tweeters up here and the woofer mid-rangers down in the doors. But let's test out the bass, see what, uh, see what we're working with here. Turn the bass all the way up in this one, see how it sounds. a timpani. I, I don't know what's rattling, but that cannot be good for the sound the speakers to be. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is awful. Wow. my thoughts on the sound system here in the Chevy Colorado Trail Boss. Again, sometimes simple works. That's kind of the ethos of this truck is, yeah, you're missing a lot of elements, but the truck itself works. And you got to think, when a sound system tuner, which they still use for these unbranded audio systems, when he or she gets in the car and they're, they're, they're making their tweaks and their, their tunes and everything, they've only got limited amount of speakers to work with here so they're going to focus more on just making the standard song sound good on flat EQ that's what they've done with the system I mean yeah we don't have a lot of speakers and a lot of uh, tuning ability to make it really wow you but your, your, your meat and potatoes music sounds good so it's getting a C from me but it's a C plus it's a strong C rating I mean yeah it definitely fell apart there when we were blasting the bass 
Um, but you can listen to it pretty loud, and it's also accompanied by an excellent infotainment system that I really enjoy using. So, yeah, strong system here from the base truck. So thank you all so much for watching. If you do want to see more on the Colorado, check the link in the description. Oh, one other thing I did want to point out. Yeah, it's a little loud on this concrete section of highway, but part of the element that helps this sound system sound good is the overall quietness of the truck cruising along. The engine's quiet, the wind, there's barely any wind noise. That helps it sound good as well. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from DM Sound, and as always, drive on.